Hello everyone, I'm Vikramaditya here. Welcome to JH Soft Tech. And in this session, I'm going to tell you how to find out the transaction code for any module in SAP. Let's say you are into a particular module and you are always in doubt which transaction should we use for a particular uh, process or for configuration or for any uh, business process. Uh, you can you can find out in this the, the procedure that I am I'm explaining you in this session. You can follow that and you can get the list of all the transaction codes for any module, whether it might be your module or some other module. So let's start on the on, on the screen. Now I would like to find out the transaction codes which are related to say material management uh, I, I, i'll be explaining for other 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 modules as well so i'll take an example of material management i need to i need to know the list of all the transaction codes uh, which are used for material management uh, then and i know that they the transaction codes start with me because it's for material I, i'll be using me or mm let's take uh, mm or me any any one of this so first and foremost is we need to go into sc16 transaction and in the sc16 transaction we need to type uh, a data, database table name called tstc tstc is the table in which we have to go and we just need to say enter click enter and here we just will give that the first two letters me star because i know very clearly that it starts with the transaction starts with me and the more details you know about the transaction course, the specific transactions you will be getting exactly what you want. So ME star and I'll click on this execute and I'll get the list of all the transaction code which start with ME. And uh, you can also see there will be 327 hits and we are we have been showing only 200 fields of two, two, 327 hits. So there are like 127 are not been shown here. So if you want to get them, then what you have to do is here the maximum number of hits is 200 you just make it as 400 because you you want to get the list of all the transaction codes now you get all the 327 of 327 here on the top you can see that and we'll go down and these are the or these are all the transaction codes and in this first you you get the transaction code here and the program which is related to it and these are the other details that we have and here is the transaction text so if you feel that this these things data element and all these things are not required for you you can filter them out you can filter them and display this so only things which are required for you so select selection options choose fields like this I'll be selecting this I need uh, this transaction text I need the program name I need the Dyn Pro as well I don't need this uh, data element okay I'll just uh, for for timing I'll just uh, uncomment this message class as well so I'll just uh, apply and then we'll go for me star and execute you need if we have number of hits as 400 execute and we get the list of all the transaction codes their respective program which is behind the transaction code the screen number with which it starts and the text now now every time you cannot log in into the sap system and um, you know check this out so what you can do is you you can once you can log in into the system get the list of all the uh, all these uh, transaction codes and you can download them then how to download it is like you can download them into spreadsheet so you can just click on this spreadsheet and uh, I'll just say uh, material T codes and then save. Hello. And once it's been done, it has been downloaded into an Excel sheet. You can see here that there is a the, this Excel sheet is filled with all the transaction codes, the the cancer, I mean like the related program name, the screen number, and the transaction text. By the transaction text, we can we can easily find out what exactly this transaction is being used for. Now, let's say if you want to if you want to create a purchase info record. So if you want to create a purchase info record, you have to go to M11 transaction. For example, if you would like to see the uh, see the what you call uh, the 
record history or price history price history for the purchase order so if you want to go for price history for purchase order you can check this here it is purchase order price history you can go to me me1p transaction and you can um, access that so this is how we have to find out the transaction codes and this is how we can download it so i repeat the transaction code that we have the the code that we have used here the transaction code that we have used is first we went into the concept is how to find out the transaction code transaction codes related to a particular module so we are going into sc16 transaction and in the sc16 transaction we are going giving the table name as tstc and then we just say enter button you're clicking the enter button that's it and it will go to the next screen and there you need to give the give the uh, give a uh, first two first two letters of that particular transaction code it's always better to give first two fields because if you give just m star think that you you just gave m star you you get thousands of uh, transaction codes so if you it's better to filter it out and get the specific list now for example you have given me star and you you got the list of all the things and we we have mm star we can make use of this also will give you the uh, you know uh, material related uh, 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 transaction codes and then we have f dash star for fi fi uh, for financial related um, you know transaction codes we also have fs star you get the list of all the transaction codes so all that you need to know is we need to uh, understand that we need to filter it out with one or two letters in the in the beginning so that it will be giving you the specific transaction codes if i don't give anything and just simply execute you will get uh, you know 10000 or more than 10000 transaction codes and it will be big clumsy and if at all if you are if you are from the uh, material management you can do that if you finance you can do this uh, f dash star and fs star and if at all you are from a bad background you can start sc star so most of the transaction codes which start with SC star, you know, and there are many people who always ask me a question like, what are the tra what are the transaction codes which are existing? For example, uh, do we have SC01? Yes, we have. Do we have SC02 in function? Do we have it or we don't have it? So uh, there are some, uh, you know, from SC01 to SC SC99, there are some uh, con some combinations which does not exist at all. For example, like we have something like SC03. sc03 it says okay sc07 it's a sc14 55 So let's say if you have transaction SC99, SC99 does not exist. So how do we know whether it is existing or not existing? It's very simple. So what you can do is you can just go to SC11, SC16 uh, transaction, give that the table name as TSTC uh, and execute, just click on enter. And here you give this as SC star, SC star and execute. And you will get the list of all the transactions and you can see that there are 223 but we are displaying only 200 so we can go back and what you can do is we can just make this as something like 300 so it will get a list of all the things execute and here we have this 223 and these are all the transaction codes that we are making use of uh, so for example like SC01 is there SC02 is not there and SC04 is not there, SC06 is there. So in this way, what are the transaction codes which are existing and what are the transaction codes which are not existing also, we can we can check it out. And as I have seen, as I have shown you how to download it into an Excel. So in the same way, you can download it into Excel and keep it for your reference. Because, uh, you know, you we always search for the transaction codes. We are worried like which transaction codes uh, we'll be using. I need the list of all the transaction codes. So this is the best and the uh, easiest way to get the list of all the transaction codes. Okay, so I, I have a lot of uh, people uh, from finance background who are watching this. So let me show you one, one particular uh, list of all the transaction codes for uh, finance. So I'll give you this something like FS star 
and execute so i'll get the list of all the transaction calls which are starting with fs so we have 231 records of 231 so we have all the all the transaction calls which start with fs are here so you can you can just download them you can click on this and you can export you just give the name of it and you can download it into your system and once you download it as an excel sheet you can you can mail it to yourself and you can you can take this as a reference okay so i already showed you how to hide these fields so in this way we can uh, hide the fields and get this list of the list of the transaction codes and if at all if you are looking out for uh, networking or administration related uh, administration related transaction codes we can go for sm star and then execute so you'll get the list of all the uh, all the transaction codes which are used by the basis team so you can any one of us can access and we can see and even if you don't know anything about this you can see the description and you can understand what exactly this transaction is uh, meant for so every transaction code will have a will have a program behind it so the list of the program names and the screen names also we can see it so in this way you can find out all the list of all the transaction codes all that you need to know is you need to find out the first two letters of that particular uh, you know uh, uh, transaction that you are searching for the for the module which are you are searching for i can i can easily give it like this as well if i say s star and say execute so s with a lot of fields there are 90611 records now, uh, if if i do it start with s star just with s s so in this way for every alphabet there will be thousands of records so it will be very difficult for us to find out so if i give f star for finance related let's see how many records are there how many transaction codes are there there are somewhere around 8223 records 223 transaction codes so it's very difficult to find out all of them so what you can do is you can just say f dash or fs star something like that at least two letters of first two letters if you give you'll get the exact list of the transaction codes which we can make use of i hope this information will be very useful for you if you if if it was useful for you please help others as well and share it share it with your friends it might help them as well and um, if it if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel please do subscribe at youtube.com slash jsoftech and you can contact us at training at the jsoftech.com for any kind of trainings and if at all if you're looking out for jobs you can mail us or you your profile at jobs at the jsoftech.com thank you have a great day